Today we're going to show you how to make sugar bricks to feed your bees in the winter. We just need a lot of granulated white sugar, some water, a tablespoon, a bucket, and a mixing drill. Alrighty. 20 pounds of sugar. There I go. After you've mixed the sugar and water together really well for about two minutes, it should pack together like sandcastle sand at the beach. I've laid out some shims here to be my forms, and I'm going to use shims later when I put the sugar bricks onto the hive too. In case you don't have shims, you could use an empty super as the form and also you can use it as a way to add the needed height onto your hive when you put the sugar bricks on. After you put the sugar into the form it's important to tamp it down very well. You can use anything you want to tamp it down tightly. After I tamp it down well I like to cut it into three pieces to make it easier to carry later. I do this little shimmy, which helps get the bricks out later when they're solid. This is the temperature we use, but we've also done it at a much more cold temperature and it works fine. It takes about two days to dry. To remove the sugar bricks from the shims, just push at the edges and they'll slide out, especially if you've done the shimmy with your shim. These are a little bit tough, but don't worry. Even if it breaks when it comes out, you can still use it. Remember to do the shimmy as soon as you tamp down your sugar and you won't have this problem. You'll be amazed when they come out that they have a, a really hard texture and when you knock on them, they actually sound like bricks. We keep them in cardboard boxes stored vertically again just to try and keep them from shattering it just makes it easier to put them on the hive now whew, it's cold out we're going to quickly put on some sugar bricks and uh we're not going to keep this hive open much at all because it's chilly um, it was actually snowing a few minutes ago so these we've made two days ago um i like them because they're easy to carry around you don't have to pour sugar out onto the newspaper, the newspaper blows away. These are just really simple. So I'm going to open this up and we need some space for these so you can either use a shim or you can use a deep rim inner cover. See how deep that is? If you don't have any of those and you really got to put some solid food on, you can use a spare super that has no frames in it. So, shim. You didn't see that, did you? So I broke it. 
but that doesn't matter. Just put them in anyway. So what was that? One minute? Now they have about four pounds of sugar there and they're just going to lick it and use it up when they want to or ignore it if they want to.